Hello students. Today I am going to explain you BGM method. So here my aim is to obtain the objective value for the given BGM method. Okay. So cl just click on start and Torah. Okay. Now you can you can see Torah worksheet is open. Then in the main menu here just click click here and here you click linear programming click this linear programming you can see this window another window just click the and click enter new program click go to input screen okay after the students you you are having as you can see this i'm just getting this part over here okay you can see so i am writing the title of the of this big m big m method okay now how many variables are there in this problem there are two variables x1 and x2 so click here two then how many constraints are there in this question uh, in here STC one constraint, two constraint and three subject to constraint no STC. So it is three constraints. Now after that students when you click enter you can see a screen coming here. I will just put this inside and like this I'll open the screen, enlarge the screen. Now students how many variable name you have x1 and x2 two variables no so i'm writing x1 x2 two variables then what is it it is maximize z so here it is maximize z then click enter you will you will get you will get here uh, in maximize z students what is the coefficient of x1 it is minus 2 the coefficient of x1 is minus 2 then click enter what is the coefficient of x2 it is minus 1 click minus 1 enter then constraints Cons first constraint is 3x1 plus x2 is equal to 3 so 3x1 3 for x1 and 2 x2 is just one coefficient then click enter you you will get this type equal to students click equal to in the keyboard and again here you type 3 okay then after that second constraint which is the second constraint 4x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 6 right so 4x1 plus 3x2 here it is just click shift and greater than symbol you will get greater than or equal to enter 6 then after that students constraint 3 it is x1 plus x2 x2 greater than less than or equal to 4 right x1 is 1 coefficient 2x2 is 2 coefficient is 2 then you have already greater than or equal to symbol is written. Then just type 4. 4 is there no here. That's why you have written 4. After typing all the students, you can see it uh, all everything is written. Click on solve menu. It is asking do you wish to save data? No. Now here students click on solve program. Click algebraic, click on iterations. Here you have big M method. Click big M method. I am putting a capital M as 2000. You can put 1000 also. 2000. Here click on go to output format screen. When you click on go to output format screen, again click on go to output screen. You can see this output when you click on all iterations it will show you three iteration is optimal 
iteration 3 is optimal that means the last iteration this is the last iteration 3 it is optimal for x1 you got 0 0.60 for x2 you got 1.20 and for x3 sx3 you got 1 and the max z value is minus 2.40 students this one students you can write uh, you can get it in the work uh, desktop also click on write to printer suppose i want it on the desktop big m method big m then i will click on save now when when i minimize the screen see here i am minimizing all the screens here i have got big m method click here you get the output like this this is the question we solved here are the basic solution max z just now i discussed no this is the optimal solution this one thank you for listening to my lecture do like share and subscribe students